Well, I guess the biggest thing that nobody knows about me is I'm a deeply closeted gay man. What? I mean, that's, I mean, that's, you're a gay man? I'm not gay. I said I'm deeply closeted. <laughs> what? What? I'm Wait. as straight as an arrow. <laughs> Wait. So you're a gay man who won't admit it? No, no. Do you know what deeply closeted means? Yeah. It means a man who will not acknowledge that he's gay. Yes. So I'm telling you, I'm not gay. <laughs> Now, Ben, Howard, you guys have been in a monogamous homosexual relationship for three years. You seem to have a lot in common. You have a lot of mutual friends. You seem to have a lot of the same interests. Uh, so why don't you tell me what's going on? Well, uh, Howard's a great guy and I love him. And uh, I think you're right. We do have a lot of mutual friends and we have a lot of the same interests. So what seems to be the problem? Well, the problem is that uh, every time I go to sleep, he fucks me in the ass. And how does that make you feel? Makes me feel bad. Every time I go to sleep, he fucks me in the ass. Howard, are you hearing what Ben is saying? Yes. I am. And how do you feel about what Ben is saying? I feel bad. Ben, do you hear what Howard is saying? Yeah. How do you feel about what Howard just said? Well, he said he feels bad, but he's not the one getting fucked in the ass every night. Okay, we're not here to blame the other person. We're here to talk about our feelings. Well, my feeling is every night he fucks me in the ass. And you don't like that? No. And how about you, Howard? Would you like it if you were sleeping and Ben fucked you in the ass? No. I wouldn't. Okay, good. You see, we fall in love with a romanticized version of our partner. And then one day, we wake up with a real person. I wake up with his dick in my ass. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Okay, when we have disagreements, we each have to assess how much of it is our own fault. Okay, well, I guess my fault is that I can't stay awake all night to watch him and make sure he doesn't fuck my ass. I'm sorry. You say that now because I'm awake. That's not true. Come on, as soon as I fall asleep, you'll be fucking me in the ass again. That's not fair. You said it. All right, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to give you these pads, and I want you to each write down what it is you guys want out of this relationship. Individually, and as a couple. I want him not to fuck me in the ass. Silently. Please write silently. Jessica Simpson for Tony Romo's poor performance. That's not fair. And everyone blamed me the year Peyton Manning didn't go so good. And wait, I've said too much. But you know, it, it still makes me feel bad, you know, getting catcalled in the streets of Indy. That's not fun. If I call a person gay, that man, that ain't no insult. It's a good thing nowadays. Yeah, yeah if you say it's an insult, you're the homophobe, not me. Correct. Yeah. Supreme Court says so. That's absolutely. Uh, I love everybody. You know what I mean? There's Without a, love, what do we got? So I don't care if a guy's a guy, a girl, a guy, girl. I couldn't care less. I love them all. What do you I'll, make of... Uh, I'll have sex with any of them. So you're the B. Huh? 
You're the bee. No, I'm just, I'm a person that is so tolerant that I would have sex with an L, a G, a B, or a T. Isn't that nice? But I would not have sex with a straight person. <laughs> you don't know I'm a secret homosexual, do you? No, I saw that, actually. A, a deeply, a deeply, according to you, a deeply, deeply closeted homosexual is what you said. Do you remember? Yes, I do. I can't believe you. Well, I trust you. You do your due diligence. <laughs> What's something people don't know about you? I'm a deeply closeted gay guy. No kidding. Well, I'm not coming out, though. Wait a minute. What are you revealing here today? I'm, I'm not revealing anything. I'm saying I'm deeply closeted. Well, that means you're gay. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. Why would I say that? I'm deeply closeted. No, but I... That means you're very, very gay, but you don't want to come out. You're so closeted... That I refuse to say I'm gay. Right. Exactly. But that... Doesn't that mean you're gay? Hey, 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 easy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this book will reveal much. <laughs> you know, on your last show, I came out as a deeply closeted gay man. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> David, uh, on one time, this is a true story, and Dave, you'll, you'll attest to this, Bought me a beautiful leather jacket. Oh, that's right. Well out of my price range. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> now, I'm no one to take charity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're doing like a Mark Twain one-man show. Yeah. <laughs> All alone in the back. Uh -huh. uh, what have we got? I am not one to take charity. <laughs> I said I sucked him off. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise well, ending. You're making me out to be a hell over here. Uh, uh, <laughs> Save some of that None gold of this will air. The... None of this is going to be on the air. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to buy this on a cassette that will be wrapped in brown paper. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh. You know, 